Hello my friends, how are you doing? Today we want to have some fun. So I'm going to show you how to do this pretty cool and very easy text effect. My name is Olivio. I'm a professional designer and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. So as you can see, easy effect we have a text and we have these squiggly lines there's a little bit of painted in shadow that's easy to do don't worry about that how do you create these lines to create that cool effect well let's delete all of the layers here and what do you want to do first of all i don't have this kind of checkerboard um, texture in the background that you usually see so to get rid of that, go to document and click here on transparent background. So there is no hook to that. And this makes the background white. Of course, if you want to have any other background color, just take a rectangle and then drag it out over all of your canvas and give it any kind of color you desire, right? That's the easy step to get the background. Okay, next step. How do we create the lines now? Before we create the lines, I need to point out that it is very important. You go to tap document and resize document and have a fairly high resolution document because when we bend these lines into shape, we still want them to be high resolution, right? So I go with 3840 by 2160 for this tutorial. You can go even higher even if you need the file for internet because rather scale it down afterwards so you still get crisp and sharp lines. All right, let's click on cancel here. And now what we're going to do is we use the rectangle tool to draw out some lines. I'm going to use black as a fill color up here. You see the fill color here. You can choose any color. I'm using black for this tutorial, right? So drag out one rectangle. Don't make it too thin. Make it like this, uh, maybe a little bit. Well, we can keep it like that. That's okay, right? If it's too thin, you will have too many lines and it won't look good. Okay, so the next step is hold control of, on your keyboard and then click and drag this down so you make a copy of that right don't worry about the distance we will even that out afterwards okay next step on your keyboard press or hold control and press repeatedly J like choker until your canvas is filled with these rectangles like so maybe one more so you have a backup basically okay next step up here select the first the highest rectangle of your layers scroll down hold shift and click the lowest one like so and so you can see now all of them are blue which means all of them are selected so next go up here to this icon that says alignment click on that and you want to click on align vertical the rightest one which says space vertically so this will give everything an equal distance just in case then click on apply. That's really important. Whoops, I changed the color. So if that happens to you, just go here and drag it down to black again. So now it's black again. Good. Um, now I want to move this up a little bit like so. So it covers my full canvas. That looks pretty good. Okay, next step, pretty important. On your keyboard, press Control and G to put everything into a group. This is important for our next step where we right click onto the group and then select rasterize and this will create one pixel layer of everything. Why do we need a pixel layer? Because we are now going over into liquify persona up here this squirrely round icon that's the liquify persona click on that and you will see this. So use a fairly big brush choose um, liquify push forward tool like this one here on the left and then set your opacity fairly high so the effect is rather aggressive and then simply paint on that like so i uh, don't go too crazy because you might get some very strange shapes but you can like go wild 
and just play around with that. If you ever get too far with that, like if you create something that you don't like, click here on reset mesh or what you can also do, if you want to have it a little bit less crazy, you can move the reconstruct slider here for the mesh and you can see I can make it less extreme. I can even make it more extreme. So you can play around with that, right? You can see you get even these kind of very strange effects where there's now holes in the lines, stuff like that. So you can do uh, whatever you feel like with that. Let's go like this looks pretty good. This down here is a little bit strange. So I will bend this down a little bit again. Well, maybe not. Let's well, let's go like this one second. No, that's not good. So with control C, you can go back also individual steps. Let's find a good solution down here. Um, yes. Okay, perfect. I'm happy with that. So always play around until you find something you really like. Okay, click apply. Now, the good thing here is this is a pixel layer and everything that's white right now is our background. So it's transparent. There is nothing behind that, right? So now what we are going to do is to right click on that layer and duplicate because we will use that in a second. Okay, so the next step, create the text, any kind of text you want. Um, you can even go creative and change the size of individual letters and individual words. You can really play around, you know. Uh, so let's use like, again, let's write drip here, which is a word for cool fashion. As you've seen, I have my new hoodie. Maybe you like that. And my baseball cap, baseball cap on that might be drip. Um, you tell me in the comments if you think that's drip or not. Anyways, here we have our text. Make it fairly big, fairly fat. Um, Arial Black is a good one because it's a hyper fat, like really fat font. So that's good to use for that. Um, I centered it here in my design. And now what I'm going to do is I will push the copy of our lines above of the text like so. Now you can't see it anymore. And um, the good thing now is that I can use this as an effect to create a 3D or an overlay over my text. So to make our text visible again, click on the text layer, go to effects and then use the outer shadow. So we want to set up a radius and the offset and you see, oh, there it is again. Very nice, very stylish. Let's have some more opacity so we can see it even better. Like so, that looks pretty good. All right, pretty cool. Um, the next thing we want to do is to right click on our text layer and say copy, right? Okay, copy. Then click on our pixel layer, the one on the top, go to edit and then paste FX. So this way we copied over our shadow effect. Now this is a little bit too much. Uh, so what we want to do is to go in here and then reduce the offset a little bit and also maybe reduce the radius a little bit. Uh, maybe we have to adjust everything here. That's kind of strange, but we will do that anyways. Let's see what looks good and similar to the other shadow. I'm happy with that. Maybe move that back a little bit. So that's pretty cool. You can see here we have some shadow, but it's not too fat for a shadow. Maybe move this back even a little bit because I don't want it to overlap with the other line. I will show you in a second why. This looks good. I'm happy with that. Okay, so what's our next step? Easy. Look at that. Hold your Alt key and then press down here on the mask layer. This will create an inverted mask, which means that now the layer that we have just created with the shadow and the lines is now invisible and now we can draw that in. So maybe you are at another device where you can't um, hold the old key. So instead, what you can do is create a mask layer like this and then go to layer and invert. That's the same thing that has the same effect. Okay, why are we doing this? 
Easy. Look at that. I'm now using a paintbrush. I will set this up with the color white and I will reduce the size and um, make it a little bit harder. Let's go with 60%. That's good. Opacity 100%. And look at that. I can now paint this in and I can also paint in the shadow. So that's the important part for us because we want these lines to have shadow. So I will make this a little bit smaller here. Yeah, that looks okay. Good. So now I paint on this and the important part here is also paint in the shadow and then be a little bit tricky and go like soft over the edge. So as you can see here, I kind of make it like the shadow is going under the line. It's kind of hiding. It's kind of going away, you know, so it's kind of softly fading into nothingness. So it kind of adds up to our eyes. And then um, you can basically add these lines wherever you feel like. So go crazy, be creative. Um, and you can go back and forward. If you did something you didn't like, just switch over to black as a color, paint on your mask and it's gone again because this is non-destructive. That's the cool part about that, right? So go like this. Always be careful that you also paint in the shadow effect. So that's pretty effect, uh, pretty important that you um, look at the effect and like create a mask where the shadow should fall too, right? Okay, so what else do we want to do here? Let's be creative here. You can also mouse over. That's pretty good if you have a mouse. Uh, I don't know if you can do it on the iPad uh, where you can have a preview where the lines are going. So you kind of know what you're doing before you do it. Uh, kind of a peek into your creative future, so to speak. And then you paint in there. It's all looking pretty amazing. Going to create some really cool effects today. Um, because art is fun and it's just there to like give you good time and be creative and enjoy yourself, especially in times where it's maybe a little bit harder to be around, right? Um, so yeah, let's do some more stuff here. I want to have some lines here and maybe I want some lines sticking through here. That looks fun. Uh, yes, that's good. Okay, where's this going? Okay, I think I want this to be overlapping the P over here, the, the letter P. Um, okay, you see here, I went a little bit too far. We're gonna go into the other direction. There we go, fixed it very easy. Um, where else, what else? Let's go here, okay. Just adds a little bit more to make it look cool. And then we're gonna start, uh, this is pretty cool here. Yeah, that's pretty awesome, all right. I want to add this too. And then we're gonna paint in the shadow and uh, finish this up here, shadow, shadow. Yes, that's nice. All right, I think we are closing in on something that's pretty amazing. Uh, I want this to overlap over here, have some shadow there. So the eye is kind of uh, fading behind that area. Um, is that enough? Should we do more? Um, I think I will leave it like that. Okay, now here comes a very important part to make this even more real, to make it cooler and like just hit really hard creatively, right? You want to create a new pixel layer and you want to go to black as a color. And then um, what you want to do is to set your brush fairly big. Let's go like this and then opacity, reduce that down maybe uh, let's say 12% and then hardness, reduce that to zero. So we are super soft here. I want my brush to be even bigger like so. Well, that's a bit too big maybe. Uh, let's not go overboard here. All right. Okay. So now um, imagine with your inner eye, with your creative vision, um, where does this bend towards you and where does it bend away from you? So in other words, where are the valleys and where are the hills basically in these lines? And everywhere where you think, well, this looks like a valley, you can put in a little bit of a shadow here. You just paint on here. You can see like this. I make this area a little bit darker down here. And because we have so low opacity, um, there isn't much of a difficulty um, to create this, to paint over this several times and not have too much of an effect, right? So just go here a little bit and over there a little bit and just do this like 
maybe this didn't look too good so you can just like erase that again this is the benefit of having it on an extra layer right so down here I want to have a little bit more shadow in here maybe so this looks like the stuff is in the background right uh, maybe here some more uh, what else are we gonna do here a little bit there a little bit so this looks good um, a little bit I want to have a little bit in here and some more back here all right and so now you can see how this the surface looks a lot more 3d looks a lot more bending and you can play around with this to your heart's content so go crazy and do whatever you feel like is good feels right and create a really cool graphic effect all right that was the tutorial for today maybe join my facebook group maybe even subscribe to my youtube channel that's completely free hit the little bell icon so you get updated on the new episodes and i would say have a good day stay safe and enjoy your creative time bye